This enclosure is absolutely fantastic. There is no other way to describe it. It's world class. There, there are none other you know, of this quality in the UK. I've seen a couple in the States which are equally as good, but I mean, this is fantastic. It's got a great diversity of form in there. You know, lots of rocks and trees for these animals to hide um, behind, climb on top of. And, and then it's got water, which is essential to tigers. They love getting wet, and there's a very deep pool where they can completely submerge themselves. And I'm sure that on a hot summer day, those tigers are going to really love that pool. And then, of course, at the other end, there's a, a viewing area where you can look at tigers through glass. Great for photographers, they haven't got the bars in the way, but also great for that one-on-one. -on -one. And I was in there this morning, one of these tigers leapt up, put its face in mine, and, well, it's just fear, that's all there is, really, because these animals are just so scary. People have to continually update the enclosures because we've learned more and more about animals and more and more about how to keep them in captivity, what they require. So it's something that requires constant updating and constant investment. Now, as you know, in this country, investment doesn't come from the government. They give their money to the opera, you know, all that sort of stuff, you know. But they've never supported, you know, tigers or football, for that matter, really. But. Um, on that account, you know, the people down here, Greg and Charlotte and, and, and their team, have invested a lot of innovation in this, in this enclosure and I really want to see it attract a lot of attention because it is world class, it's, it, it's new, it's novel, it's thoughtful and, and what they hope to do now is expand and build a couple more enclosures of the similar ilk and, and put the animals in, into those. It's been it's been quite a long term project, you know, in the making for for a while now, and to see it come to fruition is, you know, um, great great for us all. And there's been a lot of hard work that's gone into producing what you see here today, um, and uh, well, we're really very happy with it. We do have quite a quantity of land to to develop further. Um, so that we can better accommodate the, the 20 tigers that we've got here on the site at the moment. So um, plans are already um, starting for the, the second new enclosure, which we hope to be making a start on quite soon.